Huh. What a pleasant morning. <laughs> there it is. Ram Ram is still Ram Ram, even in the early hours of the morning. Yes, sister is perfect every morning. She's likely even more perfect than she was yesterday. You compliment me too much, Ram. But it is fitting. After all, I have been given an important duty. <laughs> you seem really motivated, Ram. But it is reassuring. Of course, I wasn't able to accompany you yesterday. As soon as Lord Roswell is prepared, we intend to get going. What about you, Miss Amelia? I was told it's okay to wait at the inn, but... She said I'm coming along! E.M.D. Amelia Major Determination! There was the thing yesterday night, too. I think it's fine with Rem along, but maybe I should be there just in case, right? Yes. Rem doesn't have eyes on the back of her head, so having Miss Amelia along is very reassuring. See? So you rely on me, too, Subaru. I'm always being helped by you and Rem. But I know that it would be senseless to refuse your help just for that reason. Then it's the same as ever. It's okay to rely on me. Alright, I got it. Mili and Rem are going with me. Rom's doing what we talked about yesterday. Going along with Lord Roswell to make the adjustments. While we had a favorable response last time, the location may affect the circumstances. Wow, you really are reliable. All right, let's do this. Yes, leave it to me. Yes, let's do our best. Huh, that goes without saying. Then let's go! Where did you come from? Street? Yeah, a shop I'm familiar with is here. If it was a bar or something like that, it would be really cool. But in reality, it's just a fruit shop. No, I think just having a familiar shop makes you very cool, Subaru. Holding an appa in one hand is stylish. Is that stylish? An appa as a prop feels like some Showa era actor. Showa. I don't really understand, but I'm sure it would be fitting for Subaru. Yes, Subaru is a great Showa actor. <sighs> it seems like you don't get it, but you kind of do. Okay, that's enough sidetracking. Let's just get our objective done. Come on. Hey, welcome! Oh, it's you guys. Well, that was a pretty rude greeting. Just reminding you, but in these last few days, we've been big customers of yours, you know? You need to give better service to your good customers, or you're not gonna get any regulars. I have no idea what that means. Alright, well, I'm sorry about my first comment. Let me redo my greeting. Hey, welcome! Let's see, a hundred apples today? No thank you! Wow, you really do get along. Yes, certainly. Subaru said he is an old friend. Hmm, I'm doubtful whether the feeling's mutual with the other guy. Anyway, what's up? You've got more pretty girls with you today. A flower in both hands and a puck on the head is my style today. But we didn't come here to play around. I'll buy some apples. And along with that, I've got a request. Do you think I'll accept any request, as long as you buy a few apples? 
Just so you know, I have work to do. I can't do what you want on a whim. Even if you buy a hundred apples. <sighs> so that's how you're playing it. Look at all that fresh fruit. They're all eagerly waiting for their chance to be sold. I can't let them down. So just buy your apples and go. My job is to get these fruits to meet their destined partners. You keep using phrases that tug at my heartstrings. Um, this may be overly intrusive, but may I say something, Mr. Shopkeeper? Oh? What is it, young maid lady? Just so you know, this guy here is the kind of guy who makes life a living hell for everyone around him with his impossible and unreasonable nonsense. You should hurry up and find a different master. Trust me, I'm only looking out for you. Don't act like a relative giving advice. You're breaking my heart here. Thank you very much for the advice. However, Rem could never part from Subaru. This guy's a real player. If I were the judge, I'd sentence him to death for this crime. That's one extremely biased judge! According to your story, Mr. Shopkeeper, you cannot cooperate with Subaru because you will lose time to sell this fruit. In that case, I will help operate the shop. Would you listen to Subaru's request during that time? You will? Yes. Is that acceptable? I'd like to ask too, sir. This is very important. I'll do my best to help too. Ram, Mealy. Jeez, you're really underestimating me here. I respect your guts, ladies. This is business we're talking about. It's been years since I set up shop on this street. I'm finally well established after all these years, but sales haven't become steady quite yet. A business isn't built in a day. You two shouldn't take this lightly. Yes, thank you very much. Five each of apples and oranges, correct? Um, the change. This should do it. Please carry them home carefully. Miss Amelia, I finished over here. Are you doing okay? Yeah, seems fine. You're amazing at this, Rem. Your quickness surprised me. It's thanks to your assistance, Miss Amelia. It has helped me very much. Oh no, same here. No, Rem hasn't done that much. Even seeing it with my own eyes, I didn't think it would be to this degree. But if the poster girls are S-tier beautiful, they wield this much power. Possible? The shop emptied out while I was gone? Oh, you're back, Pops. Man, I wanted you to see it. The fruits went off and found their soulmates one after the other. Even that basket and that box are empty? The sales record I spent years building up to at this shop was broken in such a short time. You have my condolences? Or should I say congratulations? Ah, you're back, sir. So, were we helpful? Welcome back. We somewhat managed to fulfill tending the shop, although I'm concerned whether this was good enough. Whoa, overkill. No, it's fine. You did good work after all, young ladies. 
Uh, I've lost my confidence. Well, don't get discouraged. And don't make such a scary face. Enough with the scary face thing. The person waiting for you is down that alley. Don't leave him waiting too long. Thank you. I owe you one. Thank you for your help. We are very grateful. Okay then. I'm sorry to leave, but we'll be going. Thank you for everything. Yeah, go on. Also, the silver-haired young lady there. Yes? You helped out my daughter before. She hasn't gotten lost since then. <laughs> That's wonderful to hear. Melee, was he saying something at the end? Hmm, yes. He did. But it's okay. Because it was a very good thing. Oh, then that's good. Now then, over here should be... Subaru, over there! You finally showed up. You shouldn't waste so much of an old man's time. Oh, sorry, sorry. But don't giants live for a long time? How old are you anyway, old man Rom? Sorry, but I stopped counting after a hundred. So, you still got up to a hundred. That's not an easy feat. You really kept at it. On that point, old man Rom is earnest. Stop that. I'm not happy getting flattery about things like that. More importantly, it looks like you have more companions today. I have not seen you since the royal castle. That's right. At least for you, young lady. As for the elf there... Um, nice to see you again. I don't know what to say. Ah, right. Melee and old man Ram have a bit of an awkward relationship. Rom, about Melee. Don't worry. Felt already told me. I hear she healed me that day. Oh, um, yes, that's right. Did you have any headaches or anything after that? I hope you were okay. Hmm, I see. You seem to be even more soft-hearted than what I've heard. What? Soft-hearted? No way. That's the first time someone said that. Do you have no self-awareness? Melee, you're super soft-hearted! That's one of Miss Amelia's virtues. A result of the Great Spirit's teaching. That's exactly right. As her foster parent, I'm proud that she has grown up to be such a good girl. I guess in that regard, I have no complaints about your parenting skills. Good grief. A spirit, a silver-haired half-elf, that youngster from the other day, and even a demon race girl? What exactly are you gonna have me do? Huh? Did I ever tell you Rem is a demon? Well, it doesn't matter. About the reason we called you here, there's actually something I wanted to ask you, old man Rom, since old people are so wise. That doesn't sound very genuine, but I owe you for telling me where Felt was. If it's something I can answer, I'll do what I can to help. Thanks. Anyway, to the main subject. Old Man Rom, have you ever heard the name Faradar? Did you say Faradar? Does that mean you've heard of it? I tried asking Roswell yesterday, but even he didn't know. Roswell. 
Ah, from the Mathers bloodline. I see. So you're involved with him. Sir? Never mind. Forget I mentioned anything. In any case, it's not surprising that the noble sponsoring you doesn't know about it. Fardar is far to the south of here. A land in the neighboring Valakia Empire. Or... it was there, to be more precise. You mean it's gone now? It's been gone for many years now. I hear that the tribe that lived there vanished without a trace, too. Was that tribe related to the Evil Eye tribe? So you've heard of the Evil Eye tribe, the Fardar. Evil Eye tribe. Tribe, huh? Haven't heard that name in a while. You know them too, Puck? I don't know about a place called Faradar, but the Evil Eye Tribe has been around since long ago. They're a tribe that possess third eyes, also called Evil Eyes, somewhere on their body. That let them use special power similar to Divine Protections. Power similar to Divine Protections? Is it not a divine protection bestowed to the entire tribe? Much like land dragons have the divine protection of Windrapel? While I think it's similar, the powers evil eyes exhibit seem random. So I think that's the biggest difference from land dragons. It's just as the spirit says. The Fardar tribe exhibited particularly strong powers. And all that power was relied upon during the Demi-Human War. That was the big civil war in Magunica in the past, right? Are you a veteran of that civil war, old man Rom? Well, I'm a coward. I was just sneaking around trying to avoid the fight. But Faradar, huh? Youngster, why did you bring up that name? This might be hard to believe, but I didn't know about the existence of the Evil Eye tribe. When it comes to asking about demi-human related things, I just couldn't think of anyone but you, old man Rom. You seem like you've lived in the royal capital for a long time, and you know Pops at the fruit shop, so I figured you were well connected. Guess everything worked out. It's not such a happy story, though. That's right. There's nobody left in this far at our place, right? This may not be the best way to say it, but races with low population face threats against their existence from various reasons. Even for the demon race, Rem and Sister's village was destroyed, and who knows if there are other surviving demons anywhere. D don't say it like that. If you put it that way, half-elves are... Mealy, Mealy, calm down. We aren't here to argue over which species is endangered. Hmm. Sir? If. Just saying if. But if there's more to the Fardar story, would you be interested? More to Fardar? Whoa, whoa, what do you mean by that? This is nothing more than a rumor. While it's a fact that Fardar was destroyed, the Evil Eye Tribe wasn't exterminated. The Evil Eye Tribe was taken off somewhere for the evil eye powers in their bodies to be used. That's what I heard, anyway. <laughs> How many people were taken away? I told you it was just a rumor, but the power of the evil eye tribe is valuable. If they wanted to round all of them up. Considering the scale of the Evil Eye tribe settlement in Faradar, there could be a hundred. A hundred? How awful. A hundred of them were taken? In that case... <laughs> Thank you.
Van Rom, I want to know something. How far can I push this favor you owe me? When you ask like that, it makes me want to take it back right away. But I've known Felt since an age before she remembers anything. I think of her like my own grandchild. I was going to be parted from that grandchild without even knowing, but you stopped that. My gratitude can't be expressed in words. Is that so? Then let me apologize in advance. I'm about to take advantage of an old man's weakness. That sounds really bad. But Subaru is determined. His delightful smile proves it. He does seem energized. He's about to scan this old man for everything he's got. Is this what elder abuse looks like? You're making me sound even worse! Cut it out! Putting all that aside, I'm going to ask you for a pretty unreasonable favor. Go ahead. I'll at least hear it out. I want you to find out if that rumor is true. About the aftermath of Faradar? And if it is true, if there are survivors, where they were taken, it'd be for the best if I could find out that much. You're asking too much. Do you really think I could find all that out? To be honest, I don't know. I think he can. Ren? Why do you think that? Well, Miss Amelia, I was not certain at first, but a memory came to me. Mr. Rom has been to Remen's sister's village. You spoke to the village chief. So you really were the girl from back then. I heard what happened later. All of you were... Rem and sister are safe. That is enough for me. Huh? In any case, Mr. Rom is well-connected enough to travel to our hidden village. Which means... All right, all right. You don't have to say anymore. So you'll do it? I do owe you, after all. I always repay my debt. Especially when old friends and a girl caught up in all this are here. I'm glad to hear you say that. Man, I seriously owe you one. Don't praise me yet. I haven't done anything. It's been a while, but I'm gonna have to pull some strings for this. This'll be tough. Come on, don't say that. This could end up helping Felt too, you know? Oh? Right, Melee? Oh, yes. So let's do our best. For everyone to be happy. <laughs> Hello, Subaru. Did your discussion go well? Yeah, pretty good. And judging by your expression, I'd say you did well, too. Of course I fulfilled my duty. I even had help from a friend. Had help is a rather conservative way to put it. I made almost all the arrangements. How did you see it in your mind? Surely you don't see friends as nothing more than beasts of burden to do hard labor at your command. Oh dear, now this is harsh. Ah, my apologies for the late introduction. This is my old friend... Russell? Oh? Subaru, you know him too? Uh, yeah, you know, he's a pretty famous guy. To think you would be familiar with me. I'm very honored, Mr. Natsuki. Mr. Russell, are you also familiar with Subaru? Of course. As someone who does business in the royal capital, I pay attention to everything discussed within the castle. The people involved in such affairs are no exception. Not to mention, I hear that Mr. Natsuki, despite the absence of his master, negotiated with royal candidates and made great efforts to set all the pieces in place. Along with Miss Amelia, you are currently someone of great renown at the Royal Castle. I've got that good of a reputation? Just so you know, I'm not some big shot like that. No, your reputation is well earned. Rem is very proud. 
I can agree to that too. Subaru worked really hard after all. I know I was working hard, but still! Anyway, because of Russell's favoritism for Subaru, the coordination went without any issue. My, my, such a capable friend to have, and a servant with great promise. As a Royal Capital Merchant Guild representative, I deal with a great many issues, which is why that evil magician there sought my help. If you're going to deal with an evil magician, you need to be cautious of their words and deeds. Sometimes you have to be firm with them. Yes, I understand. I'll be sure to remember those words. Such an assertive reply. As an evil magician, I tremble in fear. Uh, evil magician? You, Roswell? Why? Uh? It seems EMA has snuck one past the Keeper Roswell. Roswell isn't the bad guy he pretends to be. He doesn't know what to do with genuine reactions like these. Well, now I've just about lost all my reputation. Let's get back to the main topic. Hmm? A clever evasion. Having said that, Roswell speaks true. Everyone awaits inside. <sighs> but still, thank you very much, Russell. It must have been really tough, right? No, no, it's fine. Of course, I see this as an investment and hope for an appropriate return. Please continue your efforts in the Royal Selection going forward, Miss Amelia and Mr. Natsuki. I'll do my best. <sighs> I'm getting nervous. Why should you be nervous, Subaru? I guess that's true, but I feel like I did something rash, even for me. That's one of the wonderful things about Subaru. <laughs> Is it? Come on, I'm opening the door. One, two... Uh, hey, wait, my heart's not ready! Oh, so you're finally here. You sure did take your time. In Kararagi, we say time is money, you know? <laughs> How typical of you to say such a thing. It is actually impressive that you could spew such cheap words of advice. That's enough. They were invited into my household, so they're my guests. As the master of the estate, I won't allow such quarrels. Whoa! This is really something. You're right. Everyone is here. All thanks to Subaru's charm. Stop making everything my responsibility. I saw how tense things are. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Tense, Meow? Whose fault do you think it is? Let him say what he will, Ferris. It seems he has no self-awareness. Self-awareness? Like, aware that yourself did something horribly wrong? I wouldn't say it's wrong. But it certainly is out of the ordinary. Us all gathering here without being summoned by the Council of Wise Men. Whoa. I get why you're all here, but still, seeing all of you gathered here is impressive. No, Subaru. You mean five royal selection candidates and their five attending knights. I'm just a knight hopeful, but... That's true. I shouldn't forget that. <sighs> Such pressure. Subaru, are you okay? If you want, I could do the talking. But in that case, Leah's story will jump around everywhere, so be prepared for that. Prepared for what? Also, I'm happy for the offer, Melee, but leave this to me. I'll do my best! Alright then, do your best. Yeah! Thanks for the support! <clears throat> uh, 
Thank you very much for taking the trouble to attend on this fine day. I have no use for your boring introductory remarks, commoner. I am spending my valuable time here. If you have nothing of worth to say, I'll leave. Don't complain about a conventional opening line. Anyway, thanks for gathering. I know it was sudden, so I'm grateful. This is an important matter related to the royal selection. Considering your actions thus far, it would be a bad idea to ignore you. Yes, Subawu and Rem found the suspicious guy targeting royal selection candidates. Yeah, 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 I was there too. Me too, me too. Yes, yes, Fairy will personally reward you later. I can get rid of stuff like stiff shoulders just like that. Oh, that would actually be really helpful. Also, thanks to Natsuki, my company cultivated a new business. Julius brought the contract and told me about yesterday. Don't worry. I thought for certain today would be about that. But seeing this lineup, it seems that wasn't gonna be all. What kind of story do you have in store for us? I feel both anticipation and dread. As for me, well, it's probably got to do with what happened yesterday, right? I've got a stake in this, so I'll hear you out. I would also like to understand the situation. Miss Felt refuses to tell me about yesterday. I'll talk about all of that, but please, let me hold off distributing honors for all your input until later. Well, this isn't completely unrelated to Al's extremely self-assertive comment. Oh, he was? Although I can already imagine what you have to say. One camp is blatantly absent, after all. You're a genius when it comes to making a bad atmosphere. There's no need for deceit, Commoner. Of course, everyone here already noticed the same thing. All that remained was to say it out loud or not. Or did you wish to put a lid over the obvious truth and have us exchange pointless pleasantries around it? In that case, I have no business here. You can all lick each other's wounds on your own. <laughs> Princess, princess, you're going too far. I'm sure even he realizes that. There are just some conversations people aren't eager to have. He can't help that. It seems pretty close to that girl, after all. Such lenient words for an enemy. Regardless of their status as real or fake, all royal candidates are our enemies. But then why did you come here today, Priscilla? If you say everyone around you are enemies, wouldn't it be dangerous to come? And yet you still came, Priscilla. That's probably because you trust us and have expectations for us. Am I wrong? The mumblings of a half-devil irritate my noble ears terribly. You... Either revise your words or withdraw them, Priscilla Bariel. Saying such statements is not wise here. That's no good, Princess. Losing your temper just because she hit you where it hurts is childish. I'm not going to say who's right, but I owe that girl a debt, so I'm going to take her side too. Don't think you can push your luck by banding together, commoners. Do you think I'd be scared if you formed a group? In that case, you're terribly mistaken. Princess, let's stop this, okay? Don't make the situation even worse. You're putting me in a tough spot here. Be quiet, Al. Or do you wish that ugly head of yours to be removed from your shoulders? Even Al's no good. He can't be helped. His was a noble sacrifice. Isn't that a little cold, bro? I won't allow you to cut off Mr. Al's head. Miss Priscilla, please return to your seat. I'm sure you'll hear a story well worth the trouble of coming here. You speak big, Sword Saint. Very well. I'll go along with this. 
Whoa, Hal couldn't do it, but Reinhardt pulled it off. I entrust the rest to you, Subaru. I'd like you to make Miss Priscilla understand. And casually raising the hurdle while he's at it. You'll be fine, Subaru. I'll be here watching from your side. Oh man, I can't look uncool in front of you here. Is unforgivable. Reconstructing the human body at will, you say? Ferris, is such a thing possible? I think if you spent a lot of time to slowly change the skeleton and other parts, it wouldn't be impossible. But according to Subaru's story just now, what happened to Miss Melty's body is on a different level completely. Hiding her third eye and blocking her throat where food passes. This isn't something that can be done with magic. One could say it's like remaking her into a completely new creature. A new creature, huh? But couldn't the cat ear's magic do something about that? That's right. Ferris's healing magic is famous as the greatest in the kingdom, capable of doing things others cannot. Would Ferris's healing magic work? What do you think, Ferris? I'm happy you have so much hope in me, but I think it would be a little difficult. I'd have to examine her to be sure, but if it's as Fairy thinks... If it's as you think, what would happen? I think healing magic would have no effect. Subaru, just making sure, but... Y yeah ask me anything. According to Tiger's story, Miss Melty's body was made that way years ago, right? I can't say anything for sure, but considering how he said it, yeah. Just an example, but when did you lose your arm, Allie? Allie has a pretty fresh ring to it. Al, answer him. Yeah, yeah. It's been a little over ten years since I lost this arm. I'm totally used to it now, though. Even Fairy's healing magic can't fix this arm Allie lost. After all this time, a lost arm won't grow back. I guess that makes sense. If you ask why, it's because his body has gotten used to it. It's natural now for this body to not have an arm. So... For Melty's body... Her evil eyes being hidden and her esophagus being blocked are natural, too? That's what I think. So even if I use healing magic, she probably won't get any better than she is now. <sighs> Seriously? To be honest, I was counting on you most of all, Ferris. I'm fairly uninformed about healing magic. But is there really no possibility? Julius, Margrave Mathers, may I ask? Unfortunately, my knowledge on healing magic is far short from Ferris's. The only hope is Margrave Mathers. I'm sad to say healing magic is a weak point for me as well. However, if my knowledge from reading various texts to learn magic is correct... I have no memory of any factors that would refute Ferris's opinion. This subject may come up, so just letting you know now, it would be difficult with medicine too. To start, most medicines and decoctions are weak compared to healing magic. Much like Miss Anastasia from the Hoshin Company, it would be difficult for me to be of assistance as well. I've never heard of such a story before. This individual must be quite the degenerate if they are out there reconstructing bodies. Is there no way to find the perpetrator? I wish I could, but we have no idea who it could be. I'm sure in the time it takes to investigate. That girl might end up with a knife in her back. That's right. We're 
at an impasse, then. Uh, Harry doesn't like this. All of you are puzzling for so long. But over what are you so concerned? Priscilla Boreal. You must realize it. If the story that commoner brought is true, the false candidate is already clear. All that remains is to reveal the truth. Remove the false candidate, and the obstacle disappears. The postponed royal selection would resume. Why would we need to be so concerned over the problems of those who hindered us so much? So that's why. Will this discussion move forward without answering this question? I urge you all to consider. Isn't it because we couldn't sleep at night? What other reason do you need? They were used by some dangerous people, dragged into a royal selection they wanted no part in, and their lives are in danger. The more I hear, the more I sympathize with that girl, right? Reinhard? Miss Felt. Anyway, if they're being forced to be in the royal selection against their will, I want to do something to help. That would be more than enough reason for me to go along with his suggestion. While I have a slight objection to her preface, I have the same opinion as Miss Felt. If Miss Felt decides to do this, my duty is to push aside the many obstacles in her path. I will not hesitate. Talking like you're so high and mighty. Once in a while, you can just say you want to kick the ass of people you don't like. If that is your command. <laughs> if I had to say, my opinion is closer to that of the Red Princess there. If the fake candidate is identified, any further action is excessive, to be honest. We have no obligation to help them. Miss Anastasia, but... Quiet. I'm still in the middle of speaking. You shouldn't interrupt the words of your master. Also... Also? You shouldn't jump to hasty conclusions. What I have to say next is most important. Oh, interesting. What argument will the widely known embodiment of greed herself present next? I'll take your words as a compliment, Princess, but my answer is simple. While we have no obligation to help them, there is benefit to it. I may be an outsider, so this doesn't go for me, but isn't the Transcendent Dragon Church a big name in the kingdom? If their candidate turns out to be a fake, that would be a big, big scandal. So what happens if we solve their problem, and show mercy on top of that? The church couldn't hold their head above ours. The main aim of the royal selection is a covenant with the dragon. We would obtain a pretext to silence those who would meddle in it. Would that not be beneficial? So, do you like my way of thinking? Damn fox. Why, thank you. A 
conclusion drawn from no emotion is the exact opposite of felt, and exactly like Anastasia. You say that, but please don't misunderstand her as having no emotional connection. That is simply a condition required by Miss Anastasia. Even if she says to help them based only on emotion, it would involve the great many people who follow Miss Anastasia. In her position, she must not do such a thing. Thus, it is necessary to have adequate cause. A premise so convincing, it sways yourself and others. Julius! What embarrassing things are you saying? This has nothing to do with your job as a knight, does it? No. As your knight, I must do my utmost to prevent misunderstandings of you, Miss Anastasia. However... However... what? I know from the bottom of my heart that I'm glad I became your knight. My sword and my loyalty belong to you. That's not worth one coin, but my doctrine is to take anything given, so I'll reluctantly accept it. Yes. Well. It appears that it is my turn to state my opinion. Boucher. No need to look so worried. When one's gaze becomes cloudy, one can falter in the ideals they carry. Also, rather than stating my opinion here, I shall ask my trusted retainer to do so. Uh, Miss Crochet? Ferris, I wish to know your opinion. Felt and Anastasia Hoshin have covered the issues of benefit and sentiment. I could act for the same reasons as either of them. However, I wish to hear your opinion in particular. Hmm. What is going through your mind? After hearing Subaru Natsuki's story earlier, what do you think of Melty Pristis and her faction? Fairy is your knight. Indeed you are. I'm prepared to devote everything to your ideals. Yes. But I am a healer at the same time. <laughs> when asked for help, the first thing I think of is doing something about it. That goes even more so for people in a deadlock, in despair. After all, I was like that before. In an abyss of darkness, with nothing I could do, Miss Cruchet led me by the hand and rescued me from there. That's how I became the person I am now, so I can't possibly reject a hand reaching out for help. I'm sorry, Miss Cruchet, for being such a willful and self-indulgent retainer, but... That's enough. No need to finish. Miss Cruchet, will this make you hate Fairy? Me? Hate you? Unthinkable. That would only be possible if I ceased being myself. Miss Cruchet, I love you! As do I. Apologies for the long wait, but this is my conclusion. I wish to be a lord who responds to her retainers. Therefore, we shall cooperate with Subaru Natsuki. All of that back and forth was just a charade. As you said yourself, you could find a reason one way or another, regardless. However, if I'm going to walk, I will walk the path my ideals have set for me, alongside my beloved retainer. <laughs> Do as you please. While we're on the subject, half devil. You answer the question as well. I'm going along with Subaru, so... After all this, simply going along with your gesture next to you would be absurd. Don't tell me you actually intend to say something so foolish. <laughs> True, this gathering began at his behest. However, 
The master must bear the responsibility of the servant. You have a responsibility to make your own statement. Now that you understand that, answer again. Why would you make such an effort for the sake of an imposter? For a long time in the forest of my homeland, I was there with Puck, and that was enough for me. <sighs> but one day, Roswell came to the forest, saying he'll let me join the Royal Selection. Mm -hmm. When I left the forest for the first time and got taken to the manor, there was so much I didn't know. I caused so much trouble for Ram and Rem. Hmm. She isn't here right now, but there's a girl named Beatrice who gets along really well with Puck, and I wanted to get along with her too. But she was always getting mad at me too, and lots and lots of stuff happened. <sighs> After deciding to join the Royal Selection, I met the other candidates, and it made me think of how much I needed to get my act together. Everyone was really amazing, with such strong ideals. So I thought I needed that strength, too. Mm. I must have made a mistake because I was so preoccupied by that thought. I made such a big mistake at the Royal Capital. I had no idea what to do. I agonized over it, panicked, and then... I met Subaru. Melee. With Subaru's help, I renewed my resolve at the estate. And now, I'm standing here like this in the royal capital. Lots of meetings and experiences shaped who I am now. And I'm different from when it was just me and Puck in the forest. That's why I don't want my meeting with Melty and everyone to end with just a brief encounter. I want to talk it out and understand. If I need to help them first in order to accomplish that, that's what I want to do. No, that's what I will do. After all, if I don't do this right, I'll have this really hazy feeling in my chest troubling me. You lost steam right at the end! But that's how I honestly feel. Uh, Princess, isn't that enough? L? I get you have a lot to say about the Princess's attitude, but that's just her personality. Al, do not speak as though you understand me. I am not so shallow as to be seen through by a jester. I know, I know. And because I do, let me say something as if I know. Just guessing, but you already came up with a solution, didn't you? What? By solution, you mean for Melty? Priscilla, is that true? For a mere jester, you have said more than enough. Sorry, sorry. Am I about to lose my head? If I hadn't heard their stories beforehand, I would have cut off your head with no mercy. So then, Priscilla Bariel, how do you intend to save Melty Pristis? You should already know the answer. We will require that blue healer there. Me? I mean, I'll give it a try if it can really be resolved with healing magic, but we've already established that that wouldn't work. Fool, that is because you only see the easy path. Easy path? I doubt Ferris would. You must revise the way you think. If her throat is blocked by some power, we simply need to open it. 
huh? What are you talking about? Oh, I get it. Wait, what? An incision in the esophagus. No, a surgical removal? Regardless, doing surgery should resolve this. By surgery, you mean using a blade to cut something out of the body? Yeah, that. It requires a sanitary place and tools, though. If we get those, maybe? Don't lose confidence right at the end. No, it's just that I don't know. I'm not much of an expert when it comes to medical science. Surgery to open a blocked esophagus would mean cutting open the throat, opening the esophagus, then watching over time to make sure it doesn't close up again. While it isn't impossible, this does not seem like something we can deal with immediately. And there may be a chance she could pass away during the operation. Uh, yeah, guess you're right. But if we could do something about that... Allow me to make one correction, Subaru Natsuki. It seems you are struggling to determine whether this is possible, but there is no need for that. Because... Because I can do it! Ferris... I can make it so she doesn't die during the work. I I've never done things like cutting and opening, though, so it still wouldn't be easy. In that case, I can assist. With my spirits, I can at least help you. Julius is a spirit arts user. Those are his contract spirits. Same as Melee, huh? Damn copy bastard. I can hear you. Anyway, what do you think, Ferris? If you help Julius, Fairy would be reassured. But it's still not enough. To put it simply, this work has to be done alongside healing. So we need at least one more. In that case, I recommend Ram. Recommend Ram Ram? Are you serious? Serious beyond serious, very serious. You may be uneasy, Subaru, but nobody beats Ram when it comes to finger dexterity, you know. You honor me, Lord Roswell. That's. Wait, really? helps we can rest assured your praise is flattering although it is warranted Ram Ram can you really do it a stupid question of course I can it is at Lord Roswell's request after all or do you not trust me oh, okay I trust you <laughs> Ferris will be the surgeon well, Rom and Julius are support. Would these three work? You know I can't tell you I'm completely confident I can do this, right? Well, it would be pretty cool if you said that and it worked out. <laughs> Brilliant! Boo! The conditions are fulfilled. That's great and all, but I feel like we're left out. Hey, cat ears, would Reinhardt be useful for something? Hmm, I appreciate the sentiment, but Reinhardt is unsuitable by nature. You know, since he sucks mana from around him. That is the reason I'm forbidden from entering places where healing magic is being used. Guess you won't be any help then. My apologies. Bold of you to treat Reinhardt like a useless character. Also, Reinhardt, don't feel bad. I have a little request specifically for you later. Hmm. 
Understood. I would be happy for an opportunity to restore my honor. But you did it, Subaru. Now... Yeah. We finally reached the starting line. Asking questions yet. You sure are persistent. I'm grateful for the advice earlier, but should I assume this is another prelude to that? Do not be so insolent as to test me. I will not go along as you will. I simply do what I wish. Until I reach my own understanding. The matter is settled. The personnel are assembled. Success or failure relies only on your efforts now. Yet after carrying it this far, I still ask you. Why do you seek to help them? We already talked about that. It's because they... No. This is disregarding your intentions. Why do you assume that they desire help? With the blue, the finest, and that demon girl, the surgery to cut her throat open may be possible. That is, if the subject is cooperative. How are you so sure she would not refuse? Have you even considered for a moment that your hand extended in assistance will be rejected? This goes to show your arrogant disposition in presuming to think you must save her. on your parade. You are a mere jester after all. Worthless to even question. Al, we are leaving now. There is nothing more to gain here. Uh, I don't mind, but shouldn't we wait to hear his answer? That won't happen. No answer will be coming out of that one. This fool got carried away by the situation. And when pressed to deal with it in the end, he cannot even see the reality of the light that illuminates his own hand. An answer from such a fool would surely be nothing but an imitation in livery. Priscilla! I have an answer for you right now that would satisfy you. You're right. I got carried away, so preoccupied with trying to deal with the events as they happened. I don't even know why I pushed this so hard. Subaru. Subaru. But I have a reason to keep going. Part of it being because I want to help them. I don't know if they'll reject my helping hand, but I'd still extend it nonetheless. I'll extend my hand, and if they don't take it... If they do not take it, what? I'll grab them by the neck, save them, then convince them afterward. Hmm. When lives are in danger like this, it's stupid to argue over whether they can be saved or whether to save them. All that nonsense can wait until after they're saved. Complain as much as you want after everyone is safe. Including everything that couldn't be said before! That's what I'm gonna do. So my answer to your question will be clear once everything is over! You truly have the perseverance of a jester. As I thought, I did not procure the answer I wished for. However, I can deem that acceptable. In any case, it seems I will have my answer tomorrow. Regardless of the conclusion, all will unfold as I desire. 
world exists for my sake, after all. Wow, she really stole the show there. Miss Priscilla is quite the relentless woman. I thought I knew that already, but she made it all the more clear. That said, without her opinion, it's highly possible we wouldn't have found a solution. Thinking about it that way, I can't complain. Now she's gonna talk big anyway, with her big attitude and big breasts. Subaru, I know she isn't present, but if you go any further, I'll have to stop you. Sorry, sorry. I can't help it when I'm with only guy friends. I only feel this way when I'm hanging out with you or Tiga. It's an honor to be among the selection. In any case, how do you think Tiga will react to all this? His goal is Melty. As long as we can assure her safety, he would cooperate with us. I think. Subaru, I didn't mention this earlier. But if Julius and I charge into the church, we could likely resolve it then and there. <laughs> Naturally, the opponent would likely resist. However, we should have the power to suppress them. Then... Then you could resolve it without any casualties on our side? Isn't there a chance of them killing you? No. Whoa, whoa! I am not only saying this because I am talking to a friend. I would not lose. That's why I can make this suggestion. That only goes for your body. What about injury to your heart? Wounds can heal. Does that make it okay to get hurt? Not for me. My imagination's good enough for stuff like that. So no thanks. <laughs> if I'm going to do something, I want to win. And aim for a perfect victory while I'm at it. If I've got cheat codes, why not use them? I don't want a hard fight or suffering. I think it's best if I can just skip through and clear it. So don't try to go and get yourself hurt. There's nothing but pain in that. I see. I understand. If you can make my job easier, I would be happy to get on board. To tell the truth, this sword at my hip is unexpectedly heavy. <laughs> I'm sure. Of course a big sword like that wouldn't be light. Yes. That's right. It's exactly as you say. Formidable people. Did you say something? No, it's just that you guys seem troublesome once the royal selection starts. That's rather hasty. However, yes, that's right. I promise to fulfill the role of worthy opponent. You are going to learn to hate my tenacity. I don't want to promise like that! Mr. Natsuki! Is that... Over here! I'm over here! Oh, there he is! And right on time! No, actually, you're very late, Mr. Natsuki! How long did you intend to make me wait in this cold? For now, I'll just say sorry. 
For now? You definitely don't mean it at all, do you? Subaru? Who is he? Ah, this guy's Otto. As you can see, he's a traitor with bad luck. You're saying I look like I have bad luck? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I got too carried away. Um, you're... You're... <sighs> Red hair, blue eyes, and a sword at your hip. Could you be... Oh, you know him? Well, you are a merchant, so I guess you would be well informed. Are you an idiot? It's less common not to know someone so famous. The, the Sword Saint. He's the Sword Saint Reinhard, right? Indeed. I am the currently appointed Sword Saint, Reinhard van Estrella. However, if you're a friend of Subaru, I'd prefer it if you keep it casual and call me Reinhard. It's hard to be casual when I'm this worked up! Well, just get used to it over time. I have something I need you guys to do. Yes, yes, you're right. I'll take my time and... Huh? Me and Mr. Reinhard? Could this be the opportunity for me to regain my honor you mentioned earlier? Yeah, exactly it. Wait, did I not tell you, Otto? You didn't tell me anything! I only came here because I was told there was something even more lucrative for me than the oil buyout! It may be a bit forward of me to say this when we only just met, but it seems you're far too kind, Otto. You should put yourself first more. You being here is the reason I'm so flustered right now! Ugh, stop making such a fuss. Just quietly accept your fate. Th that sounds like something a villain would say. I heard a slave trader say that before. While that's an interesting story, we should prioritize the required story here. So, Subaru, what do I need to do with him? Yeah, to explain that, I actually have one more guest. He should be coming soon. Are you looking for me? Ah! A monster! What's with this youngster? Treating me like I'm some ghost. How rude. Anyone would react like that if a giant suddenly appeared out of a back alley. Mr. Rom, did Subaru make an appointment with you too? Oh, it's Reinhard. I didn't think it would actually be you, but you can definitely get the job done. You sure are good at giving work to other people, kid. I think that's about 90% of my strength as a person. That's a sad ratio. Shut up. I'm at peace with it. More importantly, old man Rom, did you figure out what I asked for? Don't rush me. I had to go around a lot of old contacts, so I'm exhausted. Good grief. Don't work an old man so hard. Okay, okay. I'll give you my best shoulder rub later. So, could you tell us the story? About the aftermath of Fardar? It seems like our thinking was correct. <laughs> As expected, they weren't wiped out. They were probably taken somewhere. This just happens to be a coincidence too, but... But what? Despite Fardar being destroyed years ago, within the last year, several evil eyes were put on the market. W wait a second. Evil eyes on the market? You mean... The evil eye tribe's powers lie in their evil eyes. For those who believe that, there are times when only the eyes themselves have value. was the source of the evil eyes. You're a lucky guy, youngster. One of my acquaintances just happened to be involved in the evil eye trade. I have an idea where it is. What kind of connection is that? If you want my information, don't ask questions like that. All right, I got it. Reinhardt, Otto, 
Thanks to old man Rom, we found the source of our future worries. I want to leave it to you guys. Is that all right? Of course I don't mind. From what I heard, their acts are inhumane. I cannot stand by silently. Uh, I don't know too much about these things, but is this one of those now that you know type deals? <laughs> nice joke. <laughs> this definitely isn't a laughing matter, is it? But I understand. As Reinhardt said, I may be a cold-blooded merchant, but... I still know there are some lines that shouldn't be crossed. Cold-blooded? Who are you talking about? Didn't you hear me clearly refer to myself? Be at ease. I was listening. Otto, having you as a companion is reassuring. I, I see. <laughs> That's good. This guy's easy to please. If Reinhardt and this youngster are going, I'll go as well. While I have no acquaintances from the Evil Eye tribe, if fellow demi-humans are suffering, I can't leave it be. Okay, Roger. Then I'll leave the Fardar Evil Eye tribe to you three. Yeah, leave it to us. There's no turning back. We're all sharing the same lot now. Let's make this go well and secure a better future. All right, good spirit. Reinhardt, I'm counting on you. You guys really are the last hope. Understood. Subaru, you be careful too. Yeah, hearing you loud and clear.